guys, welcome back to the Dirty YouTube channel. Uh, this morning we actually are gonna continue. It's a continuation of the video, the trust and trust and patience video that we um, did do with you. And this is actually the part two feed. So this is the part two of the trust and patience video. All right, you like we show you the um wave them all over. The tides them kind of high this morning because the full moon. Now the moon full are almost full. Yeah, I think it's full, yeah. So the full moon bring higher tides, so that's why the wave there sounds so heavy and the tides them really high guys. If you really see them, them like some big waves, like almost like some California waves. You know? But they kinda of show no still. But the camera not adjust his feet. You know literally have like the year or see it. They get the master anyways. Alright, trust and patience now. Now we're gonna talk we're gonna go right back, we're gonna go way back, you know. We're gonna go way back to even the nine months we're in the womb for. Now the cosmic womb, <coughs> the cosmic womb are the biological womb, are the same womb. You know the water revived, the water revived where the most I did there. It is the womb, you know, dark water revived. You were in dark, you were in a dark water at once for nine months, for nine months you're in a darkness, in a water, in a liquid. You get me, I say? And for that nine months away in a liquid, can breathe, totally dependent upon the mother, which is the source. You get me, I say? So you find say, the womb, the, the biological womb re reflects um, the cosmic womb. Because everything I forgot through darkness, even seeds, you have put them in the darkness first. I'm through water, so water and darkness is always needed for life. For any, for any form of life, comfort. So we were in the cause we were in the womb, you know, for nine months and for that whole nine months there, uh, what guided and kept us, you know, going. We weren't even conscious of it. But I check it out. But we did cook with it good. So that I'm coming show you now, say if anybody have no worries, if anybody have no worries and no fears, and if any completely trust that nine months away in a darkness for. Why when I come to the light? Why when I come to the portal, which is the vagina, why when I come to the portal I'm gonna start worrying? When you did in a darkness, you did alright, right? Now most people are supposed to pray in a darkness. I think the darkness is the scary part. But we spent nine months in complete darkness. And from that and from that nine months, you don't spend no more time in a darkness, you know. You check it. You don't spend no more time in a darkness. I'll be a light you see from that. But even though you have a light and you get all of the things that your body needs, you still find yourself a mistrust the universe. You get what I say? Now the universe, which is the same force, was guided through the womb for nine months. Did that guide you through that nine months in the darkness? Why do you think it will come here when you're born? It will just leave you so. No, the same force. The same force that guided you through the womb for nine months, guys. That's the same force that will continue to guide you through life until you pass out um, out of the dimension here. Because life is just an experience. You're just staying in a dimension, dimension here for a time. It's an experience. You get what I say? Now when it, up until you move up, up until you exit the dimension, up until you exit this dimension, you will be guided, you will you will be, your needs will be met, you will be taken care of. You get to me the same like how when you in the womb, all your needs were met up until birth. You get to me say? And even up until birth, the, the nature, nature, the, the guiding force is so strong and powerful that it calls your mother to produce milk. So when you come here, everything is here for you. You know, so you find that the universe I use you and not you and not you using the universe. And if something is using you to carry out a certain duty or be able to manifest in a reality, it must be a specific purpose. You get to me I say and it must take care of you. Because it take care of you for the nine months, but no people come here and forget say that nine months to them they get taken care of. But you were taken care of throughout the whole nine months, then why come here and take up the whole all the stresses of the world by your head and things say yes. You were supposed to worry and stress and mistrust and be impatient. No, you not come here for do all of that. You come here for trust and be patient because you did that trust and be patient throughout the nine months. You just never can just hide. And the same course where that take care of you, you know, free handedly. So you never ever ask for it. But did that take care of you throughout the whole nine months. You know? Things could happen throughout the nine months, I never happened. So if you make it into this reality, for you make it through the nine months. Me and the do nine months, I say what I do. But come premature, for the seven fucking months. 
You know, when my born, my tiny, I fuck them, the Bible knows that I'm going to fucking survive, you see? But I'm still there here, and I give thanks. You know, no for no born premature, so I'm still there here, so I forgive thanks. Whether it be seven, eight, or nine months, you know, in the belly for. That seven, eight, or nine months that you know, we're taken care of. You know, scratch free. And even when you know, come out, you know, still get taken care of. But then, when you know, leave primary school, or leave high school, or leave wherever, or come into this world, you start know, worry about everything because you were taught to worry. Worrying is not a natural human trait. You know, you were taught to be worried. You, you, were, taught, you were taught to start worrying. You were taught to be fearful. Fear is not a na natural human trait. So check out the baby them. The baby them not afraid of nothing. They are fearless. People say they are stupid but no, the human, the human being is fearless. That is a natural human trait. Because we are, we are, we are, we are dominion on the earth. We are gods of the earth. You get what I say? We are, we are the dominant friggin force on the earth. In a this realm. I have realized that. That's why we say we are gods of the earth. Melanated beings are gods of this realm. No other being not have the intelligence, the intellectual capacity where we have, where we possess. You get what I say? And an evolution, evolution, nature give you that. The brain power to process a lot of things, to create things and all of them, something that no other being from the face of the earth can do it. And we alone. That's why we say we are gods of the universe, God, God of this universe, gods of this realm. You get what I say? So it's not a narcissistic thing and a boasting thing also we are gods. No, we are really gods, check the things that we do. In comparison to the other animals, them, them not do none of them something, them not reach a level of evolution there yet. But it's still come here and mistrust and worry. You know? Check the nine months, man. You come here with everything we need. Not even clothes, you never come here and come into the realm with. Not even clothes. For sure, you, say, you, get, you, you were given everything you need. Say, not even clothes you don't need because if you come here with every single thing we need, that means that everything we get along the way is like a, a, a plus. Because you come here with breath in your body. And you don't know how that breath you create, you know? But you come here with it, you know, that means the most I have provided with everything that you need for breed and for be healthy, you know, you get what I say, throughout the nine months. You get what I say? So you couldn't even breed in the, in the womb, but when you come here, the universe gives you a fucking system where it allow you to breathe in fresh air to keep you alive. So it's already there here for you. So the air there to keep you alive, whatever you create it. So everything you need is always here in abundance. It's in high supply, always. The earth is in a lot. The universe then a lot, you know? We're not going to make that video too long. Big up the Journey YouTube channel, one love.